Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Susan here again, coming at you with yet another video. And this is a requested video. This video was requested by Van Nguyen, and she watched my um, unboxing that I recently did of my Louis Vuitton Cerise Empreinte Keyclay. And she requested that I did an, um, a comparison between that and my um, compact Carusi wallet. So this is the wallet here, and this is the compact Carusi wallet, and this is in the Infinity color, which is a dark, dark navy blue, which they have discontinued. Um, they no longer make it. It has now been replaced with the color they call Noir, which is black, but it honestly is the same exact color. Um, there is no difference. So um, she asked that I did a comparison between that and my brand new Keyclay key and the Empreinte leather and the Cerise color, which is C-E-R-I-S-E, -E, which is a gorgeous red. Um, and she just wanted me to do kind of a comparison. So let me kind of show them to you on top of each other. Um, they are both the Empreinte leather, which means it is complete leather. Um, it is not the canvas, it is leather. So this is why this wallet, even though it's compact, will be as pricey as one of the full size regular canvas ones. And um, this clay will be a lot more than your normal clay because it is leather as well. So it is one piece of leather on both of them, one continuous piece, which means the LVs are upright on the front and upside down on the back. Um, they are both the beautiful envelope style, which I absolutely love that both have the button snap closures in gold that read Louis Vuitton. And um, also, um, one has a, the clay, the Empreinte clay has a zipper on the back and the compact Carusi wallet does not. So let me just do some measurements for you guys for comparison's sake really quick. Um, the Carusi in the length is gonna come in exactly at six inches in length and in height it comes in exactly at four inches and in depth we have exactly one inch in depth. And the Empreinte clay it comes in at about five and a quarter inches in length and three and a half in height. And the depth at the very shallowest, smallest part at the bottom is about half an inch. And then going up to the top is right at three quarters of an inch, so almost an inch. So that is the difference in the two sizes. Um, and as I said, the clay in the Empreinte has a zipper on the back with this beautiful zipper pull that says Louis Vuitton in brass with the little brad that also says Louis Vuitton in a beautiful uh, leather pull to pull the zipper with. And then this wallet has nothing on the back. So let me just open the wallet and kind of show you guys the construction of the wallet or the layout. Um, when you first open the wallet, you're gonna have a pocket immediately on the front. Then when you open it up, it says Louis Vuitton, Paris, made in France. And I'm um, filming on my iPhone today because my iPad is acting up. So I hope you may not see my face for this video, <laughs> but um, you don't really need to anyways. Um, and excuse my nails, it's time for a manicure, so I hope to go tomorrow. But um, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France, and it has four credit card slots immediately right when you open, which um, this is a compact wallet, so if you're one that doesn't carry a lot of cards, this is perfect for you. Um, I use this wallet, um, as I said, because I bought it to go with my Artsy, and um, so yeah, it goes um, just mainly with that, but um, because it only has four slots, I only carry my immediate, um, like, important things that I will need, which is my ID, my debit card, a credit card for emergencies, and my health care or insurance card. So those are the things that I will need to get to the quickest. I carry those in there for that reason. And then right behind those slots, you have another compartment there. And in that compartment, I carry, or I have in there, um, three more credit cards. So even though there's not a lot of slots, you can keep other cards in there. And I have a receipt, and I also have a little punch card at Clark Shoes for when I buy my little boy's shoes. So I have that in the compartment um, behind the card slot. 
And then there is a zipper compartment here, or coin compartment, which is truly for coins. And I have put some coins in here for the video's sake, but I do not carry coins typically in my wallet. I carry them in something separately, but I did put them in here for the video and they do fit in there quite nicely. Um, it doesn't bulk up the wallet or anything, so I had the coins in there. And then, oh, sorry. In the front of the wallet, I forgot about that little pocket, I have another extra couple cards, few cards. And then I have another a, a receipt, which is in here from Clark's as well for the little shoes I bought for my little boy. So that was in the first compartment. And then on this wallet, you're gonna have your bill compartment up here at the top for your money. And I don't have any currency um, recently, I mean, not recently, right now. So I'm pretending this is money, so let's pretend. So I keep my money always up there. And then you can also put extra receipts in there as well as you can always put your extra receipts in there or back there as well. And um, so that's really it for the layout and the construction of the wallet. And um, I showed you guys what I um, basically keep in this wallet. And I'm just taking out my cards that I have in here so that I can um, arrange everything into the clay for you to show you how um, everything fits into the clay. So this wallet is completely emptied out now. So that was everything I had in that wallet. And um, it's a really nice compact wallet. The leather is to die for soft. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, well-made wallet. So now for the clay. And as I showed you already, it's got the zipper on the back and then it's the same snap button closure. It says Louis Vuitton France, Paris made in France right when you open it. And then this one is gonna of course have the key, beautiful key ring with these beautiful links because it is a clay. So um, that is its main purpose, although I do double it as a wallet, um, a mini wallet. Or when I run errands, I attach my keys and use it as a mini wallet. But I will show you guys every single thing that I had arranged in my Carusi wallet, um, how it fits in there. So let's start out first by those four um, crucial cards that I have to carry with me that I had in the four slots. Um, let me show you. In these four slots that I had showed you guys when you open the wallet. These were my ID, my credit card, my debit card, and my insurance card. So those are here. And I will show you guys how they fit right down in there very nicely. So those are those four cards. The next thing I had in there in my wallet were another one, two, three, four, five, another six credit cards that I had just in the slots randomly, as you guys saw. So these are those other six cards. So I'm going to tuck those in with those. Show you guys how those fit in there. And as you can see, they fit in there lovely and there's still quite room for more cards if you wanted to carry more cards. The next thing that I had in there was my pretend money or currency. So we're pretending this is my money. And of course you would have to fold it up um, and, and halves of, to fit in there, but I'm gonna stick it down right behind the cards. So um, that would be my money. So that would show you that um, I think I have 10 cards in there and then that would be bits of my bills. So they fit in there nicely and that's it closed. It's not bulky. Um, whoops, the keychain's in the way. There you go. It's not bulky or anything at all. Hasn't changed shape. Okay. The next thing that I had in the wallet was um, a receipt and then another little, uh, my little coupon punch out card. So I'm going to stick that in the front and that's that in there. And of course it's all jumbled together in this clay. It's not gonna be sectioned out in the compartments and stuff. Um, like it is in the Carusi wallet, but you know, it, the point is, is it's not a wallet, but it does all fit in there. The only thing that um, I had in my wallet that I'm probably, I cannot fit in there is this receipt and that's okay because it's not detrimental. It's just a little Clark's receipt, but I could always just take it out of that and put it in there and it would fit just fine. 
So um, these are the coins that I had in the Carusi wallet here. And I'm going to show you guys. I will put them in the back compartment there. In that, and I'll use that as a coin compartment. So this is the clay, and I'm going to close it up. And that's how it looks. And um, that is every single thing that I had in that Carusi wallet except for this little guy here that I showed you. And it still looks intact, perfect. It's not fat or anything anywhere. And the coins are not bulging. And then with this guy, I can take my little key ring here. And this is my house key, my mailbox key, and my um, gate, my um, electric fence key um, and everything. My, uh, excuse me, my iron fence key and everything. So all my keys and my mailbox key and everything. And then that's my car key. And I will attach that, of course, to the little key ring. And I will just let that hang right there. So there you go, guys. This is every single thing from the Carusi wallet in this little clay. So this is showing you guys how fantastic, roomy, and spacious this guy is. And I can just run out and run my errands and I have every single thing, my ID, my credit card, my money, um, receipts, and my keys all attached here. And I could just run out and run an errand really quick. Of course, your cell phone won't fit in here. Um, in the Carusi wallet, I forgot to mention the iPhone 6, which is what I currently have, does fit in here. It's really close, but it does fit in here and close as well. So you can put it in there. Um, my husband has the 6 Plus. I tried it in here, and I'm filming on it now, so I can't show you, but it's it's the eye, it's just like as maybe an inch, a half an inch bigger than this on each side. So it does fit in here, but it, it sticks out slightly. But the 6 fits in here beautifully. So let me show you guys one more way of uh, this play if you wanted to kind of arrange things around. Um, Say you didn't, I'm sorry, let me try this. Say you didn't want to carry coins like me because I don't ever carry coins. So let me take the coins out of here. And I have three quarters in here, a nickel, two pennies, and another quarter. So that's, you know, quite a good bit of change there. But if you didn't want to carry coins in there, I will show you guys some credit cards. You can fit credit cards back there. In fact, here's three credit cards and a receipt. And I'm just gonna show you guys how the credit cards and a receipt will fit down in there really easily. Oops, let me pull that down. Okay, so that's my credit card and receipt back there, no problem zips perfectly, doesn't catch in the zip. And then let's take out my pretend money that I said was my money, and I could put my money back there as well if I wanted to. Whoops, there we go. So that would be my credit card's receipt and some money back there. And it fits perfectly. So you could also put that in the back pocket And also, if you just wanted to use this to put your keys in like that, I could put my keys in there, um, button it up. Of course, it'll be bulky because of my car key is big, but as you can see, it does fit in there and it's not too bad, but it is a place you can conceal your keys in there. And then you could use this back pocket here and you could put like, um, your credit card, your ID, and our fake money. You could zip that up. And the money's kind of in the way, so let me take it out. But just showing you, you could slip your cards in there and you could put your money in there as well, even with the bulky key and zip it up. So um, anyways, that is my comparison on the Crusade wallet in the clay. Basically, I hope you got the, um, the, the main, the gist of it, and you can see that even though this is a clay, it is extremely useful clay. It is a humongous clay. It fits everything in it that the Carusi does. 
and they're both two great pieces i highly re recommend both of them and the main difference with the Carusi is the organization is going to be better and also for the fact that you can keep a cell phone in there so and your keys won't fit but um that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a fantastic day Bye bye